So what exactly is email marketing and do you even need email marketing in your business? My advice to you is yes, you do need email marketing in your business and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But in this video, I'm gonna show you in four steps how you can create that email marketing system and what parts that you need to have in place. Now, I'm not gonna go in a lot of detail of each part because each, each part could be a whole video in itself, but I wanna give you a broad view of what an email marketing system looks like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will get put out videos every Tuesday, every Friday on how you can turn your passion into profit. And then within that scheme of talking, I will talk about different income revenues like affiliate marketing, email marketing, things like that. You can have that YouTube channel, turn that passion into profit, but there's also many other ways within that YouTube channel that you can make money. So it just kind of grows as you go. But I like to say it starts with YouTube. Now, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time one of my videos come out. All right, we're going to jump in and we're going to look at this visual that I made. This is kind of what the system looks like. This here is content. To start your email marketing system, you need to have content that you're putting out so people can find you. I love YouTube because it's searchable. I can find topics that people are looking for. I can provide the answers to their questions. I love to do how-to videos. They're actually my favorite um, because usually that's what people are looking for. How do I do this? How do I do that? And you make a video and you answer that question and that is the content. When you make that content, we're going to use YouTube because that's what I do. Um, I may offer you something for free. So today I'm talking about email marketing. What am I offering you today in this particular video? I don't always offer anything, something in every video. Today I'm going to offer you a free email marketing course called Email Marketing Mania. And you get that for free. All you have to do is hit the link below. But in exchange for that, you're going to give me your email address. And now I have you on my email list. Now, you might say, well, I want the course, but I don't want to be on your list. As soon as you get your first email and you get that um, information to log in, it, every email marketer will provide you with an unsubscribe button at the bottom. Think of all those thousands of emails that you're getting in your inbox. You don't want scroll to the bottom and you can unsubscribe to all those lists. So every legally you have to provide that. So you get the free email marketing course. I get your email. So what am I going to do with that email? Then I am going to create a sequence of emails that I send out to my list. Now I have an automated list of emails that I send sometimes. And then I do a weekly. It just depends on which list I put you on. Um, but that's called an email sequence of lists. Now, this email sequence is not set up where every single email is asking you to buy something or do anything. Sometimes it's just providing you with information that's going to help you grow in your business because you came to me because you wanted to know how to build your business. So that's what I'm going to provide for you in your email marketing list. Now let's go back to the first step that was content. Now I talked about content. I said that you could. You could provide your content through Facebook, through Instagram, through blogs, through YouTube. You need to have a platform for your content. And I highly recommend that you pick your favorite platform. If you like to talk, but you don't want to be seen on video, then get a pod, start building a podcast. If you love to write, a blog would probably be best. And if you like video, then actually start a YouTube channel. But those are the three main social media platforms that I would suggest to start providing content for your viewers. Now, step number two was offer something for free. Now, I'm going to give you a really fast list of different free stuff that you can offer. Um, you can stop the video and, and, and get those if you need them, but I'm just going to offer them very quickly. You can offer templates, mar a marketing plan. You could offer email newsletters, something they call a swipe file. If you're into email marketing and you know what a swipe file is, people love that. Um, you could offer sales letters, infographics, presentation designs, so something for free. Um, you could also offer uh, quizzes um, or assessments. You might offer somebody a free checklist. So this is some free stuff. You might say, here's a checklist um, for uh, how to set up your YouTube channel. Here's a checklist. Uh, swipe files, we talked about that. Uh, you might offer some kind of training a webinar or a video training. You might say, hey, would you like to see this training on 
how to catch fish, um, my secret, five secrets. Um, you send it out, they ask for it, that you get their email address. It can be anything. You might give a free trial. I might say, hey, you want to sign up for a free trial with ClickFunnels? Give me your address and I'll give that to you. Here's another one, a cheat sheet. I've heard people offer cheat sheets, case studies. Would you like this case study of how 10 people became millionaires and they started from nothing? You may offer a free consolation call. People love that, especially if, if you've got a lot of knowledge in a certain area and um, 15 minute call where they can ask you anything. People love that, especially if you've um, got a lot of people following you. That definitely is a plus. And then a free ebook is very popular as well. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's lots and lots and lots of different ideas for free stuff. Now, so now you might ask, how do I collect the emails and where do they go? You're going to collect the emails by setting up a funnel. And I use ClickFunnels. There's other software out there, but this is the one that I use. And I here, I offer a YouTube channel checklist. That's a free thing that I offer. I'm going to bring this over to the preview page so that you can see what it looks like. So somebody might say, I want that checklist. So what they do is they give me their name and their email address. And when they click this button, the system is set up where it goes to my autoresponder. It goes right into an email list for me. And automatically, it's, it just goes right over. I set this up. It takes time. But then after that, it's already set up. I don't have to keep on um, building it. I can go back and revise, obviously, but I don't have to do anything more than that. Now, where does it go from there? It goes to what we call an autoresponder. Now, I believe MailChimp is free. If you're just starting out, that might be a good one to start with. I was advised to start with something that could handle more emails because um, somebody who I was following at the time started out with MailChimp and then was he said that my email list got so big that I had to move it over to a different company because MailChimp couldn't handle it and it didn't have the features. So that person recommended Active Campaign and that's what I've been with ever since. So Active Campaign, when my my new email people or my new contacts come in, they go to what an automated list that I have. I call this my soap opera list. This is my first four emails. Everybody comes in and they will get them and they'll get them maybe every other day, I think, or is it every three days? Yeah, every three days, these will come in. There's like four of them. And I just tell my story so that everybody can get to know who I am. After that, I send them to a, a list where I send out a fresh new live weekly email. After they go through my soap opera or get to know me, then I send them to a weekly email. And I think I send them out on Thursdays. I can't remember right off the top of my head. Um, and then they get that every week. And like I said, let's go back. Let's go back to that first picture we were looking at. This is where the email sequence comes in. Okay. This is why you want those email list names. I didn't need to move that, but there we go. All right. <laughs> and they become your list. Now, why do you need this? You're saying that's just something else for me to have to do. And it is, and it does take time to set up and it, you can actually get anxiety over it because you're like, I have to have everything in place. Just start building it on the side as you're working on your content. In my opinion, your content, content is the most important thing that you can be doing in your business. Um, whether you're building a YouTube channel, a blog or a podcast, you want to start creating a group of followers who are following you and they want to learn from you. And from there, you can start working on other systems that are going to help you build your business. So this is something you can start building. And the as far as the email sequence, when I first started and I didn't really have that many people in there and it was just a lot of um, stress to have to keep it up, I came up with an email sequence of about 30 emails. And I know that sounds like a lot. You probably don't need that many. But I wanted to send out two a week at the time and, and just, you know, help people get to know me. I did two a week and I did like 30 of them. So it was about 15 weeks worth. I could have done 30 of them and they could have lasted 30 weeks, but they were automatic. Everybody went through the same sequence and they call that an automation. So Active Campaign offers that, an automation within there. And I used it at first because I could just send people to the automation. I didn't have to worry about um, going in there every week or every few weeks and, and writing up um, new content for my email list. So that's something you can do when you first start out. Now I have a link below for Active Campaign. I have a link below for ClickFunnels, or you can go out and find other ones. But those are the ones that I use, and I've been very happy with both. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. 
that um, the, the email marketing part is crucial to your business because if YouTube stops being in, in existence or maybe you have a podcast and you have your podcast hosted on a certain platform, that disappears. Or maybe the blog that you wrote, maybe you didn't save all those articles you wrote, they were all on your website and all of a sudden WordPress went down. I'm just using that as an example. You don't have a business. Your business is the people, the name of those people, their emails. And that is something that you want to build bigger, 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 bigger. And another thing that could happen, what if you changed your mind in what you were doing? Let's say you were really, really known for um, training dogs, okay? Let's say that was your niche and you really, you know, you have this huge following. Well, all of a sudden, maybe you started leaning over to horses or something, I don't know, or cats. Um, yeah, a lot of your people might drop off and not follow you because they're like, I don't like cats. Or maybe you change the breed of dog you talk about. I don't know. But the point is you can change what you talk about and the people that love you and will follow you anywhere will keep on following you. And those that are there only for the content might stop following you. But you can change who you are and what you're doing um, naturally and still have those people following you. You still have them on that email list. And again, they can unsubscribe anytime they want to. But that's where the money is. The money, when you sell things, you have the affiliate marketing, you have different items that you might be selling on Amazon, and you're suggesting them to your audience, you're doing that through your email list. So yes, you need one. Um, even if you're brick and mortar, that is your bread and butter, your email list. Um, think about, you know, you've gone to Kohl's, you've gone shopping at, at a store and they'll say, um, can we have your email? That's why they want your email address because they want to send you coupons. And all of a sudden you're on your email and you're getting all this stuff coming in, especially you know during the holidays, you're on their email list and you're going, oh, they're having 30% off. I'm going to run to the store. It's right there in your face. So that's, that's what the email marketing is for. And I hope I simplified it enough for you, those four steps. And um, I have a whole email marketing list playlist that you're welcome to go to as well. I'll, I'll put that at the end. Um, I just keep putting my e uh, different videos in there to help people. And again, free email marketing course to set up active campaign or if, if you don't have an autoresponder, I think they have a 15 day free trial. So you can check it out for free at first. And it's only if you start collecting emails, decide to stay with them. The last time I checked, I think it's only like $15 a month. It's very reasonable. The prices do go up as your list gets large. So um, in the beginning, 15 bucks is great. All right. I hope you got something out of that today. Let me know below and I will see you on the next video. I hope you have a good one.